I didn't see how much horses, horses. I didn't see how much horses I have. I think she needs to add. Yeah. Uh, not updated later. Call me. Call me. Uh, Jocelyn. Can you call me Jocelyn? Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay. <coughs> Jocelyn, uh, you. I think there are too many people. If she can add more hostess. Yes, and then come back. Okay. It's hot here. Inside is okay. Are you ready, guys? Okay, is everyone ready? What are they? What are they? Twelve, twelve o'clock. I will start whether you are here or not. Are you? <laughs> come here, come here. When did you wedding? Oh, oh really? Boss, <laughs> it's Thank you anyway. <laughs> I was trying to remember. <laughs> but still, you are making me laugh. <laughs> yes, I remember now. <laughs> That's
I'm fine. How are you? That's my mic. Yours? No. Uh -huh. Why didn't you put it there? I, I don't like I will try. What? What? As long as the best man in an honor right after us, it doesn't matter if you order it. Yeah. Is he brother? Yeah. See, I think yes. I don't know. But yeah, you're his brother. Yeah. yeah. For today. <laughs> For today. <laughs> When I started the mass, don't go up. Okay. Yeah, sometimes, if especially when they did a the vow, he can stay here too. There's no problem. For uh, for the sign, he can can be whatever you want. wake them up. <laughs> Everyone is here? guys, ladies. So this two, this two are your, your, uh, your children? Uh, are they your children? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look like queen. Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys, are you ready? 
Okay, well, the father and mother, the father and ma mother. Okay, so I got behind. Okay, that's good. Okay. Stay in line, please. Stay in line.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Welcome, everyone. But most of all, congratulations to Daniel and Melissa, and in particular way, their parents. Finally, they can say, yes, we did something great that never ends. So big applause to the couple, new couple, big up. <laughs> Before we celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, my most fault, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to a lasting life. Amen. The Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, pour out your grace on this your servant Daniel and Melissa, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. First reading. reading from the book of Genesis. God said, let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the heaven, and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all the living animals on the earth. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. i 
Second reading, a reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts and I am going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess, piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but I am without love, it will do me no good whatsoever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense, and it is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. God, we live in our imperfect love. 
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. <clears throat> Please be seated. Welcome again, a married couple came to a priest to arrange a wedding anniversary, actual 50th anniversary. After they have completed their plans with the priest, the priest was surprised. The joyful face, the happiness of this couple and he dared to ask them, can I ask you a question? Why is that after 50 years of marriage, you are still very happy? Suddenly the woman spoke up and said, it is all because of romantic and romance. Twice a week we have romantic dinner, soft music, candle, light. Then again, the priest, the surprise, is interrupted them saying, you meant to say that your success depends on this dinner that you do, one on Tuesday, the other one on Thursday. And then the husband responds, yes, she goes on Tuesdays, and I go on Thursdays. But in any way, 50 years. Brothers and sisters, one of the greatest things that we can give to one another is very simple. But at the same time, it's very hard. It's not about giving gold. It's not about giving money or wealth. It is about giving love. It is about a word, a divine word, a beautiful word, a human word, and that is love. We mention it, we talk about it every day in all our lives. In fact, we are completely on that line. Yes, it is easy to talk about it. And to say that I love you and you love me. But then the problem comes later. Love one another as I have loved you. We heard in the gospel saying, Jesus, this is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. And this is what you must do. The Christian, as the Christian, we claim it, we live in it. Love one another. But the Lord says, love one another as I have loved you, and that is the most difficult one. How is possible that Daniel loves Melissa, would love Melissa like he lo Jesus loved me and loved you? Just see the cross. That is the way that he loved me, God. 
That's the way he loves each of us. He gave up his own, his own, his only life. The only life that he had. Love one another, they have loved you. So the question is, am I going to love you as Jesus loved me? Am I ready to be crucified to suffer for you? Am I going to forgive you? Am I going to be gentle with you when you mistreated me? That's where St. Paul says, love is not rude, but we are human beings. Husband and wife can be rude to each other. Love is forgiving. We are human beings, but husband and wife can be unforgiving to each other. Love is patient. Husband and wife can be impatient to each other. But still the Lord tells us, love one another as I have loved you. That means that at the end of the day, I must love you, give you a hug, be patient and gentle with you. It's impossible sometimes. It is a challenge. But regardless what challenges arise, Jesus always will be with you. That's why we found our marriage just in God. You see, marriage is about God, husband, and wife. It's one in three. If God is there, my love will be there forever. If I suffer because of my love, God will be there to help me, to show me the way, to give me the power to overcome all the trials of this life, to readjust my relationship. In a way, my marriage must be founded in God. There is no marriage without God. He is the foundation. He himself is married. He married to every human being. There is no love in two. The true love is, of a family is, in three. One in three. Husband, wife, and God. Have that kind of hope in the Lord. He will be with you. He, he will shepherd you. I must be able to say with the psalmist, Yes, Lord, I may not understand it now. I may not be in darkness. But even though I walk in the darkness, I feel no evil. For you are at my side with your road and your staff that give me courage. May the Lord bless your wedding. May the Lord bless your love. May the Lord be with you and walk with you in all your lives. Amen. Okay. Melissa and Daniel, come forward, please. And David, then, come here, please. Can we say a short prayer, please? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father. Please be seated. the people first. Okay, that's good. 
My dear friends, you have come together in this church so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church minister and this community. Christ abundantly blesses this love. He has already consecrated you in baptism. And now he enriched and strengthens you by a special sacrament so that he may assume the deeds of marriage in mutual and lasting fidelity. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Melissa and Daniel, have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? Did you hear that? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Will you love and honor each other as man and wife for all the rest of your lives? Will you accept the children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. Saying it is your intention to enter into marriage, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and the church. I, Daniel, thank you, Melissa, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Melissa, thank you, Daniel, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You have declared your custom before the church. May the Lord, in his goodness, strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. But God has joined men, must in a divide. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless and consecrate Melissa and Daniel in their love for each other. May the strength be a symbol of true faith in each other and always remind them of their love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay. Melissa, take this ring. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is slipping. <laughs> Take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Daniel, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We can kiss each other, okay? <laughs> Big applause, please, okay? Mothers, please, can you come forward? Okay.
Please stand up for the prayer of the faithful. Prayer of the faithful. Let us present our petition to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Melissa and Daniel, now united in marriage, and for their salvation, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the married couples present here, that they may renew their commitment to love and to share with the world the mystery of God's friendship, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That Melissa and Daniel may persevere in love, maintain and resolve their resolve to support each other and come together to an ever greater knowledge of God, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church of God, that we may be more aware of our vocation as the Bride of Christ, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's holy people, that through the celebration, we all may grow in our desire to serve and love the world, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased loved ones, Avó Francisca, Avó Manuel, Nona Camila, Vovô Antonio, and Marco Aurelio, that the Lord embrace them in his kingdom and give them eternal life. Let us pray. And we pray silently for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, we ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be seated. Bring the, bring the wine. Bring the other things. I will do it. Okay. Go. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept this sacrifice. sacrifice. Receive in your kindness, Lord, the offerings we bring in gladness before you. And in your fatherly love, watch over those you have joined in the sacrament of covenant, Melissa and Daniel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. This is really right and it just our deed and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
For in him you have made a new covenant with your people, so that as you have redeemed men and women by the mystery of Christ's death and resurrection, so in Christ you might make them partakers of divine nature and joint heirs with him of heavenly glory. In the union of husband and wife, you give a sign of Christ's loving gift of grace, so that the sacrament we celebrate may draw us back more deeply into the wondrous design of your love. And so with the angels and all the saints we praise you, and without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in this passion, he took bread and giving thanks, brought it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drain from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, special for those people who mentioned today in the Mass, the relatives and friends of this couple who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And I pray especially for Daniel and Melissa, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, 
who may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, for God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord for this bride and groom who come to the altar as they begin their married life. As partaking of the body and blood of Christ, they may always be bound together by love for one another. Please kneel down. Please extend your hands over them by blessing them. Okay? Holy Father, who formed man in your own image, male and female, you created them. So that as husband and wife united in body and heart, they may fulfill their calling in the world. O God, who to reveal the great design you formed in your love, will that love of spouses for each other should foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people, so that the, by fulfillment of the sacramental sign, the mystical marriage of Christ with his church might become manifest in the union of husband and wife among your faithful. Graciously stretch out your right hand over this your servant Daniel and Melissa, we pray, and pour in their heart the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O oh Lord, that as they enter upon this sacramental union, they may share with one another the gift of your love by being for each other a sign of your presence, become one heart, and one mind. May they also sustain, O Lord, by their deeds, the home they are forming, and prepare their children to become members of your heavenly household by raising them in the way of the gospel. Graciously crown with your blessing your daughter Melissa, so that by being a good wife and mother, she may bring warmth to her home with a love that is pure and adorn it with welcoming graciousness. Bestow a heavenly blessing also, Lord, on Daniel, your servant, that he may be a worthy, good, and faithful husband and a provident father. Grant, O oh Holy Father, that desiring to approach your table as a couple joined in marriage in your presence, they may one day have the joy of taking part in your great banquet in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, he said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and let us offer each other the sign of peace.
firm of God, you take away the sins of the world. Live mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Live Please kneel down. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, this is the most sacred moment of the Holy, Sacri of the Holy Eucharist, the Mass, the Holy Sacrifice, in which you receive the body and the blood of Christ. It's not a simple bread. It's not a holy bread or blessed bread. It is Jesus himself. Just remember that. Those who feel to receive him today, certainly, Come forward, please. And those who may not feel to receive him today, still come because we are all God's children walking the same walk that we do. Our ancestors did. Just put your hand if you don't do communion like this and take the blessing. All of us one day will be in the eternal banquet of the Lord. But today, let's take blessing. And those who want to take Jesus, they can take it. Paris, we start with Daniel and Melissa, and then later on with everyone.
Geist. Ave Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, Ora, Ora pro nobis, Ora, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus. Love for love, if we 
Let us pray. Having been made partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who are united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name to the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please, uh, Daniel and Melissa, come forward with your witness. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God, the Almighty Father, give you his joy and bless you. Amen. May the only Son of God have mercy on you and help you in good times and in bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always fill your heart with his love and joy. Amen. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Daniel and Melissa, I declare you husband and wife. Okay, exactly. <laughs> invited to read here. Thank you. 